What is better, Creek or not Creek? Creek! And why is Creek better? Car? Because I'm here. Cole? Because we're the Bruins. <laughs> oh, yeah. Car? Creek's the largest and highest achieving public high school in Colorado. Taught me how to run with both hands. Now I'm bilingual. What else? Kayla? The teachers taught us how to count. 11, Five, 15, pi, 11, 15, pi. It's not complicated. Creek is better. Would you rather schedule your own classes or have someone schedule them for you? Carp? Schedule our own. And why is this? Because you can have classes with all your friends. Well, and their future is kind of important. And getting the teacher that gives out candy. Do you have a great future? Obviously. Yeah. That's right. It's not complicated. Self-scheduling at Creek. Uh-huh. Young Bruins. <laughs> so you say you want to graduate from Cherry Creek High. Well, a high school diploma will make you look high. 22 total credits will get you through. Here's the breakdown of what you got to do. Three years of math that you must pass. There's nothing like algebra to make you cool in class. Don't forget to take three years of science. It's probably good to think about lab compliance. Foreign language is optional, like Spanish to German. But to a college, it's phenomenal, so fit it in your day. The practical advice, they won't live up to their thing. You gotta take one and a half, that's the name of the game. Four years of English, you'll need to complete. If you don't make the grade, then you'll have to repeat. A year of US history in your four years at Creek, plus a semester of double gets you where you need to be. One and one at credits in the name of social studies. Stack up on those textbooks and make your backpack heavy. Everything you do, you know you're doing to get college ready. Work till graduation day, imagine that completely. So you say you want to graduate from Cherry Creek High. The high school diploma will make you look fly. 22 total credits will get you through. Here's the breakdown of everything that you got to do. A semester, a health, and 1.5 Take them with the coach and set your mind free. Take 5.5 more credits just doing your own thing. And when you reach 22, you'll be a senior in the spring. Your fan will hold composure when you're handed that diploma. And it's something you will use when you're 40 plus years old. So just make sure that you do it. Life will get a big improvement once you get in 22. And now for college. To attend a four-year university, you must do a few extra things. Add a year of math to your plan. Get a year of foreign language if you can. Take two extra classes that are core, and with your extra knowledge, you will not be a bore. If you do these things at Creek, your future options will be really neat. We wish you the best as you choose your course. Challenge yourself, and you're sure to be a force. So, so that's, that's it, it for college, college facts. facts. Take, Take these classes, and you won't lack. Wow, what a video. I can't wait to see Grandmaster Graham and the graduation requirements towards summer. I bet he will be opening for Justin Timberlake at Red Rocks. Now that I know the grad requirements what credits colleges want to see for admission, I should think about other things I need to consider. See, picking classes is easy as a click. Drawing design to boom. AP Calc AB, boom. AP Environmental Science, boom. AP Bio, heck, I don't even know what half of these classes are. I never looked in a registration guide. Oh wait, what is happening? I need to take drawing design one? I should have paid attention to the prerequisites in the registration guide. I want to take it back. Unclick, unclick. I should know what I rigor is and the best for college admissions. Oh no, I didn't know that. Unclick. Stop. OMG. AP Bio, AP Physics, and Physics Engineering take up two consecutive periods. I want to have off period with my girlfriend. Oh, stop this. Stop this. I think I think I'm gonna get sick. Oh. Um, 
I'm in a timeout because apparently pre-registering for only three core classes is frowned upon in this district. So luckily I concealed this bad boy so I can register for a minimum of five classes if I'm a junior or senior and six classes if I'm a freshman. So wait, wait. Oh, I see. Solitary. Just a man and his thoughts and, and his smartphone. Nobody knows. This is the Fearless Honey Badger. The Honey Badger wants to register for classes, but first, he must get signatures from his current math, science, English, social studies, and foreign language teachers. He must also obtain a parent signature. This is very important. If he shows up without the appropriate signatures, he will not be able to pre-register with his class and he will have to come back at a makeup session. Honey Badger missed his assigned time because he was eating a cobra and passed out from the venom. Gross! That's disgusting! If you miss your assigned time, you'll have to reschedule during your off period and before May 9th. Don't even bother to ask if you can self-schedule before your assigned time. It won't happen. The registrar don't care. I'm a teenage girl. My best friend just texted me that she wants to get ahead in her classes needed for graduation over the summer. That's a problem because she doesn't know summer school is offered only to make up a D or an F in a class. Now I'm emotionally compromised. I'm like, oh geez, she doesn't even know the four classes that are offered for credit during the summer. Go, World Geo, Online, PE, or Health. If you get a D or an F in a course, you can be taking summer school yourself. Make sure you pass your classes during the school year and you can be protected against mayhem like me. I am the sun, and as you know, I'm out for most of the sports that you can play at Creek to obtain a PE waiver. Between mowing the lawn and football, I choose football. And if you don't know that you can play one full season of a chassis sanctioned sport, including marching band, you could end up taking three PE courses, and you only need a two. So if you want to protect yourself from mayhem like me, pick up a PE waiver in counseling in our registrar's office to earn a half credit of PE. I'm a high school girl out jogging, and I'm wondering how this can take other courses to meet my health requirement for graduation when you drive by. You realize that when you see my awesome headband and weights that there are two courses that you can take to meet this general health requirement. Foods and nutrition and contemporary relationships. So check the registration guy and see if it works better for your schedule and protect yourself against mayhem like me.